So I know this has been a huge request and it's probably, I felt very smart whenever I came up with this, but uh, <laughs> um, essentially what you can do is I found the workaround for emailing to Taskade. So whether you want to create a project, whether you want to create a task, uh, whatever it is, there's a workaround for this if you are using Gmail. Now, the way we would do this is you would go into, you first have to go to automations and we're going to do, I'm going to delete these just to keep it more clean. So you would first go to automations. We're going to press create automation and start from scratch. We're going to choose add trigger and it's going to be email received. So new email. I would connect my Gmail account over here. And then what we're going to do, you can either choose filter data or you can do branch. I'm just going to do filter data. Now, what this is going to do is we're only going to trigger this automation if these conditions match. And the data that I'm going to match is the receiver's email. And the way this works is in Gmail, you have the option to add a plus sign followed with text to your email address and it will forward it to that. So for example, I can do NAREC plus add task at taskade.com. Now, what does that mean? I am going to check and run this automation whenever I receive a new email, only if I'm sending an email to NAREC plus add task at taskade.com. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can either add an AI agent in between to really break it down and format it to whatever I want, or I can just do add task. And then I can choose a specific project. Let's say it's for website development right now, and I'll put it to to do. And then the content will do the email body. And then from here, we'll put it at the end and if I have any default custom fields set up, I can do that as well. And now I have a workaround for emailing to Taskade, but not only that, you can actually trigger automations within Taskade using this as well, right? So if I really wanted to make this super complicated and like complex, I could do add to Taskade. And then from here, maybe add the email body so only if it matches this email value, continue with this branch. And this branch, we could call this one add to project. I could call this one add task. Or actually, we'll call this one create project. add task, and then I can add other paths as well. But in this case, it would just be like, if the email subject matches project. And then in this one, if the email subject matches task. And from here, we would just do create project. We'll use the title as the email subject, or we could just say new project and then add the content here with the email body. And then this would also be add task. And we'll choose a project by default. To do content, we'll have it be the email subject position. We'll just add it at the end. And then the thing about branches is that you have to choose a custom condition. And then the fallback would be Actually, I could just choose this as the fallback as well. So I would just add the task directly into this project. And fallbacks are just the default. So basically, I could split it into here, and then I can add a task, and I could just do filter data and add that if the email body, I mean, uh, email subject contains tasks, then I would run this. And that would be it. So this just opened up a whole bunch of stuff where essentially you can send your emails using Gmail. 
So this is already a existing setup. You can now email things to Taskade directly and handle it with however way you want it. So if you wanted to categorize it in a certain way, you wanted to process it a certain way, you can now create that within Taskade's automations and then save the changes and then run it. But I obviously have to connect my Gmail account over here.